So a few days ago, I wanted to give my moi moi attempt another go because I feel like twice or thrice to make moi moi, there's always something wrong. Anyway, so let me try it one more time and see if I succeed this time around. So I went looking for, you know, those small plastic containers that you can use to make moi moi. If you're not Nigerian or African or don't know what uh, moi moi is, I'm going to maybe put a picture here on the screen and maybe leave a couple of links to my favorite recipes for you to maybe check out. Anyway, I went looking for my moi moi containers and then it struck me when I got to um, this rack in the kitchen where we keep um, plastic plates and all that. It struck me how much plastic plates we have. I keep throwing all these things but somehow plastic plates just keep multiplying. If you're a single person or you live in Lagos or you live in the city, then ordering food is a pretty common thing that most you know younger people do. We order food from time to time even though we also cook at home. So but somehow these plates keep multiplying and it just drives me nuts. So I decided to kind of declutter that rack which then led me to you know thinking about other areas here around the house that I could possibly look at decluttering right. So I went around looking around my room, the kitchen everywhere and seeing one or two places that I can declutter. So that's what I'll be sharing in this video. In case you're new here, my name is Sky and I make minimalist style beauty and lifestyle content from here in Lagos, Nigeria. So in case that's the kind of content that you might be interested in, support my channel by giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment and of course subscribing in case you haven't already. So let's get into the video. So I went through all the plates, the ones that don't have matching covers, the ones that are broken or overly stained that I know we weren't going to use anymore. I just, you know, threw them away. No need to keep them. Like I said, we are always going to order food. So I think we're always going to have, you know, these plates. It's hard to throw them away at first after like one or two uses because most of the time they still look neat depending on what you buy. But eventually you just have to let them go because they get stained and they get broken. They're not very strong. Um, so I just went through all the plates through the ones that I knew that we weren't going to use anymore and then I was left with just a few pieces that I know are still in good condition and that we are still going to use so that's how I decluttered my plastic plates if you're a Nigerian person then this is very very important many of us forget that part of our kitchen and the plastic plates they build up so right now not right now like after the video go ahead enter your kitchen go through all the plastic plates, all the takeaway plates that you've used in the past, go through all of them. The ones that are not good, that are not clean, just let them go. Still in the kitchen, I saw that my spices needed a look over so i went through all the spices that i have i don't have a lot of spices at home for some reason i used to have way more but i've kind of you know reduced buying spices because how much spices could you possibly need anyway so i went through all of them the ones that are old that the containers are kind of damaged i just kind of threw them out or the ones that i know that i don't use so much like this lemon pepper spice you know i use it like once or twice and i've not used it ever since i don't even think i've used it this entire year so there's no point keeping it i'll try and see if i can give it to uh, my neighbor or i'll just throw it out. i'm not sure but for now i'm just keeping it aside so we also have you know sachets of indomie seasoning i personally don't eat noodles anymore but you know my family members eat them so we have you know extra sachets of indomie seasoning i don't know why we keep them but you know i have a bunch of those here so those are also going out and then i just go through everything old garlic just clean up the entire spices both um, fresh ones and the um, ones in containers so once you're done watching this video look through your spice rack you'll be surprised to see you know spices that you might need to let go of either give to somebody if they're still good or if they're expired please throw them out you can always replace these things if you want and if they're important to your cooking you'd have used them you know by now so let those old unused spices go so the third area that i decluttered is my underwear rack underwear container underwear bag underwear drawer whatever it is that you use to store your underwear go through them today like for me i don't buy a lot of underwear because i kind of switch mine out pretty regularly i don't think i use underwear for more than like three to four months max and i just kind of throw them out so i don't buy a lot per time but you know how sometimes you just find this you know panties or this very nice bra that suits you so well especially bras when you find that bra that fits your body perfectly they're very very hard to let go of so i have like a couple of bras that are already you know the rubber you know how the rubber will kind of get compromised i have 
you know that kind of bra line around and even though i can still wear it they don't look good they don't feel 100 percent good anymore if i'm to be honest so i have to let them go the panties are easier because i don't really care about them they just come and go every three or three four months i change them anyway so i just go through the bag that i have and try and reduce um the number or the quantity that i have in there let go of the ones that i've not worn in a long time the ones that are either you know any thread hanging or if the elastic is beginning to slacking you know we just let them go so i've done that for my underwear um bag if you have a man because that other day with my partner i was looking through his boxes i'm like jesus christ men don't like to throw away stuff i don't know why anyway if you have a male partner maybe you should help them look through their you know stash of boxers anyone that there's hole or that's staring just you know what to do the fourth thing is a simple one which is cosmetics i don't have a lot of this also by the way you guys i've not mentioned i don't think it's necessary but in case you have not clocked i'm a minimalist so i don't have a lot of anything like my entire life is minimalist for my clothes cosmetics everything all right so back to this decluttering for my cosmetics i don't have a lot i have a couple of things here that i might have you know kept a couple of cheap fragrances that i got and thought was a great idea at the time lesson learned the cheaper fragrances are not always the best i've learned that lesson and i'm just going to let go of the ones that i'm not I'm ever going to use you know how fragrances are when you hit them you hit them so let me not deceive myself i'm not going to spray this perfume um anymore so let me just you know throw it out this is my cellar water and just a couple of things here and there that i know that you know i won't be using anymore i also have a couple of old two brushes i always like to keep them for a few more weeks to see if i maybe need them for my edges or something but i don't think they should stay they're just occupying space and not even adding any value so i'm going to also chop those aside yeah if you have a larger stash of cosmetics this would be a great time to go through them if there are any you know empty bottles if there are some that have been broken if there's any fragrance that you know that you might not really like to wear anymore try and give them out or if they are totally finished throw them away i know some people that like to hoard um perfume bottles that's not me but i know people who hoard perfume bottles because of how pretty they look and i understand the you know decor appeal but at the same time if that perfume bottle is empty i think you can let it go all right like i've been saying since in this video you can always replace them so let those empty cosmetic bottles go the next thing is something that is digital i think many of us are guilty of you know holding this and that will be digital files on your phone i'm talking about photos videos id stories screenshots all the files that you downloaded the pictures the movies all of that because i'm minimalist my phone already kind of has only what it needs but from time to time because of the kind of job that i do i'm a photographer up and coming filmmaker and i also have you know my fashion store online i'm going to leave the link here in case you want to check us out so i take lots of pictures to my phone i do lots of screenshotting i save lots of you know stuff that i see on the internet so my phone gets you know overloaded from time to time even though i'm conscious of not keeping too many files so i of course go through everything it be once a month once a week whatever you know frequency you can manage but go through your phone from time to time it doesn't matter if you still have memory space like don't wait until your phone is full before you have to go through everything so i suggest if you're free and you have the time i want to really give your phone and your life generally some breathing space go through all those files see what you don't need anymore and maybe delete them if you absolutely must keep them look for like an external drive or save it uh, you know in a cloud storage anything to keep your phone free and light and fast this is something that i feel helps these are small small areas that won't take you too long to touch and declutter but i promise you you feel so much better let me know if these tips help you let me know if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment and i'll be responding there give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe in case you haven't i'm going to see you in my next video bye